Hey my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be answering a burning question I get asked all the time. What is the difference between Adobe Photoshop, Adobe InDesign and Adobe Illustrator? I'm Kate Silver and I'll start by saying that I personally use a combination of all three softwares in my design process. They're like the dynamic trio of graphic design. And each of them brings something unique to the table. Now, before we jump into the specifics of each software, let's have a brief overview of these three Adobe powerhouses. So Adobe InDesign is the number one in layout and publishing. Adobe Illustrator in vector graphics and illustrations and Adobe Photoshop is the ultimate software for image editing, retouching, and manipulation. Photo manipulation, that is. So let's dive further into the specifics of each. Let's begin with Adobe InDesign, my go-to for layout and page design. If I'm working on projects like magazines, books, brochures, or any project with multiple pages, then I will use Adobe InDesign. With InDesign, I can do things like add page numbers, create tables, table of contents, repeat elements over multiple pages, add hyperlinks, and so much more. InDesign's amazing layout capabilities allow me to precisely control text and images across multiple pages, making it perfect for us control freaks, right? Although, to be really honest, the first time I had a look at Adobe InDesign, I felt pretty overwhelmed and it felt more out of control than anything else. But luckily, I quickly discovered easy tips and tricks and now I find Adobe InDesign one of the easiest things to handle in my life. Like I just wish I could press undo, undo, undo in my day-to-day -day life. Sadly, I can't. Now, if you did want to learn the easy tips and tricks that I've discovered, I do teach them in my Adobe InDesign beginners course. I've attached the link below in the description, so check it out. Moving on to Adobe Illustrator the leading software for illustrators, like the name implies. If I'm working on logos, icons, illustrations, cartoons, or anything that requires scalability or to resize without losing quality, then Adobe Illustrator is the one. Illustrator is a vector-based software, which means that my designs will remain crisp and clean at any size. And vectors are made of shapes and puffs and handles that allow me to easily manipulate and edit them. Now, I've personally also used Adobe Illustrator in my background in fashion, where I've had to do something called specification sheets, which are technical drawings of garments, or in my case specifically, shoes to be sent over to the factories. So yeah, Adobe Illustrator can also be used for technical drawings of objects or products for production. Cool, right? Now last but not least, let's move on to Adobe Photoshop. You might have heard of that one. Now, when it comes to photo editing, retouching or digital art, Adobe Photoshop is the big star. With Photoshop, I can do things like remove backgrounds of images, change the colors, edit parts of images, remove spots or blemishes, or even logos, and create mockups for your brand or for anything else, and so much more. So Photoshop is a pixel-based software. But what does that actually mean? So every image that you bring into Photoshop 
is made out of a collection of these tiny little square pixels. And if you zoom up close, Command plus or Control plus, and zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, you'll notice all these tiny little squares, these pixels, and your image will be pixelated. So yes, this is where the expression pixelated comes from. So you learn a thing or two. There you have it for Adobe Photoshop. So I'm frequently asked by students, okay, Kate, which one do I use? Which one do I choose to learn? Adobe Photoshop, InDesign, or Illustrator? Well, I always say it really depends on your specific design needs. So if you think you're gonna do a lot of stuff where you edit images and you remove background and you change colors, then choose Adobe Photoshop. But if you're going to create icons and illustrations and logos, then choose Adobe Illustrator. If you think you're gonna create a lot of brochures and magazines and text heavy stuff with layouts, then choose Adobe InDesign. So personally, I opt for a combination of all three because I find that it makes my process really cohesive. So what I tend to do is I design my icons and illustrations and logos in Adobe Illustrator. And then I move on to Adobe Photoshop and that's where I edit or retouch images and make it really digitally cool, remove stains from shoes, for instance. And then towards the end, I bring it all in together in Adobe InDesign and I'll create a holistic brochure or presentation. So that's how I would use all three. So yeah, basically mastering all three softwares makes you a mega designer. Now, one advantage of Adobe Creative Cloud is the seamless integration. So I can really copy paste elements from one software to the other. And you can also use something called CC libraries where you open one software, let's say Adobe InDesign, and you place some element in your CC libraries inside Adobe InDesign. And then you open Adobe Photoshop or another software and you'll be able to grab those same elements from the CC libraries inside Photoshop, which is really cool and it allows me to be very efficient. Now, even more good news is that once you've learned one of the three, it's so much easier to learn the other two. I always say that Adobe is like a language and that it requires practice, but once you get the gist of it and you understand the language or the interface, it becomes so much easier to learn all the other softwares, even Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro and whatnot. And what's super cool is that the shortcuts, most of the shortcuts are similar in all the softwares. So if you learn the shortcuts in one of them with me in one of my courses, then you'll be able to use them in the other ones. So if you're keen on exploring these, these courses, these softwares, then check out my beginner's courses for all of these. They're packed with practical exercises that you can play along with and practice with shortcut sheets and cheat sheets and so much more. My goal is for my students to be really confident and not overwhelmed at all, like when I was, when I first started. I want you to feel at ease and feel like InDesign or Photoshop or Illustrator is not that hard and that you can handle this. I believe in you. So check out the links below, I've attached them. And also, if you don't have any Adobe software just yet, then check out my link below for a free trial. You can either choose a specific software like Photoshop, for instance, or you can choose the Adobe Creative Cloud plan where you have access to a lot of softwares like Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, and other softwares like Premiere Pro, Lightroom, or After Effects. If you found this video helpful, then please like it, comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more Adobe tutorials by moi, me, Kate Silver. And voila, see you soon.